everybody Steph here again and today what we're going to do is show you an absolutely beautiful example of this very early um, Parker fountain pen. Now this Parker is actually the Parkette Deluxe fountain pen. Now the Parkette pens um, were launched in the region of the early 1930s, I believe round about 1934 and they went through approximately about four years round to around about 1938. Now when Parker launched the Parker fountain pen believe it or not it was actually the if you like the low end of the Parker range. Now as you can see it's an absolutely beautiful pen ladies and gentlemen. So to say this was actually one of the low end pens then well, it's a bit of an understatement, if you like, because it's a beautiful, beautiful pen. This particular one um, is in what they term as the red pearl pattern. It's like a red uh, marble effect. Um, it came with gold-plated trim. You can see it's got three gold-plated rings to the cap there. It came with this um, gold-plated Parker... Um, clip if you like and the earlier pens actually had a sort of a chevron design to the uh, to the clip this one hasn't it's it's quite a um, well it's, it's, it's quite a smooth clip if you like there's no stepping in it as with other clips as well um, it's quite smooth there's no um, I believe some of the pens had the the word patent to the top there this doesn't actually have it um, Another thing to notice about this particular pen, the Parquet, I'm hoping you can you can see that it has these fluted ridges to the barrel, and a, there's approximately 12 ridges to the barrel and the cap. And again, if you look at the cap there, um, you can see it has this fluting um, or these ridges, if you like, to the cap as well. Um, what it also has, if you look to the top there, this white little ring here. Um, just sits below a black um, button to the top of the cap if you like and that is um, the same to the end of the barrel here you can see it's got this uh, black button to the end of the barrel and it's also got this white plastic ring as well again some of the differences of the time um, the rings here were actually a gold plated uh, bands and the same with the end of the barrel but this particular case, this particular variation has the plastic, um, the plastic rings. The pen itself, from the top of the, the cap there to the bottom of the barrel, is approximately 125 millimeters capped. Um, around the barrel here, it's approximately 12 millimeters. 12 millimeters in diameter. Now, this particular pen has a lovely clear imprint which I've actually highlighted to make it a little bit easier for you to actually read and again what you'll see just at the beginning there it says made in and then it says Parker Deluxe and then right to the end it has the word Canada so this particular pen was made in Canada again some of the variations were obviously made in the USA and some of the variations to the end of the barrel here um, they actually had a, a number or a date number which actually you could actually date the particular pen but this one doesn't as you see it's slightly different it has the um, it has the Parquet uh, Deluxe imprint and it says made in in Canada again let's just show you the end the end of the barrel there you can see it's got this black uh, button. Incidentally I've fully restored this particular pen it's in absolutely beautiful beautiful condition ladies and gentlemen an absolutely superb example. Um, let's take the the cap off let's show you the pen uh, and the cap together there as you can see absolutely gorgeous in this uh, what they term as this red pearl. Incidentally um, I'm hoping you've actually noticed the Parquet Deluxe or the Parquets at the time were actually lever uh, pens. You can see it's got this lever here and they were actually the first and I believe maybe uh, the only uh, Parker lever fill fountain pens. It was the only lever fill fountain pen at the time 
for Parker and the reason I think I believe they brought it out was to uh, to compete with some of the its competitors the some of the other manufacturers had the lever so they brought out um, this particular model um, with with the lever if we go to the top of the pen here you can see it's got this um, concaved black section here which makes it nice and nice and lovely lovely to actually grip if you like um, but it's got this lovely black concave um, section here now again on these particular pens um, at the time there was numerous different variations in nibs um, some of them were actually gold plated some of them had had a a gold wash um, some of them just had a, um, a silver or a white metal uh, were made of just normal white metal if you like and the majority had this gold plated wash which tended to 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 wear off now if you look at this particular nib i'm hoping you can actually see it it's actually a 14 carat um two-tone nib okay i'm let's try and give you a good view of that i'm hoping you can actually see the the 210 there you go that's a little bit better i think there we go. So you can see to the top section there, it has this silver um, silver section to the bottom. It's it's gold. And what you'll also notice, I believe, the, this particular nib is is quite rare for this particular pen because it reads uh, Parquet 14. Uh, sorry, it reads uh, Parquet. It also has the word Deluxe, um, and then underneath it's got 14 carat. Um, it states that it's made in Canada and then right at the bottom it's got the letter F which presumably relates to um, originally the nib being a fine fine nib now if we just show you a sideways view like that absolutely lovely if we show you the feed underneath there you can see I've actually cleaned cleaned the feed it's been polished it's it's absolutely lovely condition um, as I say the nib originally um, because it actually says F on it which I assume the, the original nib was actually a, a fine nib unfortunately when I received uh, this particular pen it was badly damaged badly dented I've actually straightened it I've took all the dings out of it and right at the top of the the tines if you like the the tipping was actually snapped off at, um, at two different levels so what I've actually done I've actually smoothed the tips um, and I've sort of smoothed them to make it um, nice and smooth and it's ready to write with which we'll show you um, in a moment so there we have it ladies and gentlemen an absolutely beautiful example of the um, Parker Parquet Deluxe fountain pen now, because some you people, as always, want to see how the pens actually actually write, and to be quite honest with you, I'd actually be interested myself. Um, to fill the pen, nice and simple, all we do, if we just move the, the ink, we just simply pull the lever up, like so. And as you can see, it'll actually go all the way over. So what we'll do, we'll put it, put it like so. Well, what we'll do, let's, let's fill it. <laughs> So we dip the ink, sorry, the, the nib into the ink, open the lever, leave it in for a couple of seconds. Let's just give it a tap, pop the ink to one side. Um, what I'll actually do is just give it a bit of a wipe. And then let's bring on a pad with a little bit of paper. Um, as I say, what I've actually done with this particular nib, nib I've actually smooth the ends um, and I think it's going to be right in now with maybe a medium and maybe even a broad nib so what we have here ladies and gentlemen is a oh no it still actually writes with a uh, quite fine line so it's a Parker Deluxe fountain pen as I say this particular one I believe was launched in the region of 1930s 1934 and I believe it was in production for approximately um, about four years through to about 1938 um, there's a little bit of flex to the nib actually on the downward stroke we can get quite a um, quite a wide or a broader 
broader line so if we just press down as you can see the downward strokes are quite thick whereas the strokes across are quite thin so there's, there's just a slight bit of flexibility to it but all in all ladies and gentlemen a very nice pen very nice so there's a writing sample as you can see just slight variation in the line from um, the thick downward strokes to the strokes across there okay but all in all ladies and gentlemen a very nice writer considering we've just smoothed uh, smooth the nib down it's worked absolutely beautifully I'm very um, I'm very happy with the result and there we have it ladies and gentlemen an absolutely superb example of this early 1930s Parker Parquet Deluxe fountain pen in this gorgeous um, red pearl pattern with um, black end to the, a black end or a black button to the end of the barrel and the same to the top of the cap there with these plastic white uh, rings if you like an absolutely lovely lovely pen ladies and gentlemen so there we have it the Parker Parquet Deluxe I hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen ladies and gentlemen as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you don't forget plenty more videos on my YouTube channel go and have a look leave a, ch uh, leave a comment don't be shy but for now I'll just simply say bye bye now